A Scottish fishing trawler returns from the North Sea with its catch. Oi, Captain, can I buy some of your fish? Sorry, mister. But first the fish have to be shipped to China to be cleaned. Once they're shipped back, then you can buy some. China? Yeah. A 10,000 mile return trip? Aye. That's insane. Yeah. Meanwhile, a busy environmental organization gets some troubling news. One column had three line bank. Get a load of this, boss. Well, I'll be. Listen to this. We import over 300,000 tons of potatoes in a year. I guess we need potatoes, right? Then why do we export almost the same amount? What? Same thing with sugar, beef, and lots of other foods. And we're not the only country doing this. Look what's happening in the UK. Now, yeah, what the heck? Makes no sense, does it? Looks like another case of insane trade. Oh, must be they don't believe in climate change, do they? I can't believe it. On a lonely country road, a young man wrestles with his demons. Mary's right. I've been a real sap about food. I bought corporate global food because it was cheaper. Now I see it's only cheaper because of subsidies and tax breaks that we all pay for, including me. And that's not all. The global food system is killing rural life, ruining small farmers like Mary's dad. I tell you, I had it figured all wrong. Now that I know the score, I see how insane global food is. I promise you, Mary, from now on, I'm only buying local food. I love you, Jack. 